He's the only Finn on the ATP World Tour, flying the flag for his country in a sport more readily associated with neighbour Sweden. His name is Jarko Niemannen. Tennis has always been number one for me, even though I played in many other sports. I always uh, wanted to play more tennis. A former world number 13, Niemannen is now 28 and is working hard to challenge again for the top 20. I try to do different things, sometimes running like today and sometimes I do some exercises for the, for the whole body and yeah, try to change the routines not to get bored. I already feel the difference uh, since I started to play. So you have to be all the players are stronger, faster, they can run for a long time and that's why you have to really practice hard uh, also the fitness side. You know, I twisted my both ankles uh, like about five years ago and uh, I have done a lot of exercises to get them better but uh, at least the other one uh, I stayed very loose and that's why I have to, have to keep those uh, ankle supports all the time. It's very demanding to stay, stay in good shape uh, for 10 months a year and uh, mentally and physically it's very, very de demanding but it's at least it's the same for everybody. So. And that's a good thing about tennis, you get, if, you, if you play bad and then, then you, the next chance is uh, in one week or um, two weeks, so you don't have to wait for the next time too long. When you play on the ATP Tour, most of the tournaments are very well organized and transportation and everything works so well, so it's you really just uh, you have to take care of uh, your game and that's it, otherwise uh, everything works uh, so well. I hurt my wrist, had to do surgery, it took four months and then I played two tournaments and then I got the swine flu, it took another month to come back, so uh, yeah, that's part of the sport and uh, at least then you respect more when you are able to play and compete again. It gives me more confidence to be able to reach the top from the country that uh, hasn't had such a strong tennis culture. And, uh, tennis is getting bigger uh, all the time and we have uh, very good uh, young ones actually coming up now. I spent uh, my off-season uh, in the military and then I, they let me travel in the beginning of the year. I play tournaments and then when I came back to Finland, I always uh, went back to the back to the army. So uh, yeah, it was uh, it worked really well. I actually played uh, one of my best tournaments during that time. That time on national service helped Jarko refine his approach, and the veteran Finn believes his time on the tour is far from over. He's still looking to make that next step up. I always thought it's, it's possible to be a top player, even that I'm from Finland. I, I always uh, work hard for it and I'm very satisfied with what I have reached so far and uh, I still hopefully can improve. He plays pretty standard Scandinavian tennis though, great backhand and as he, he's had a very good, very good career. Uh, it seems like he's gotten better every year even though he's gotten older. But this is, a, it's a great, uh, for my guy, you can't ask for a better second practice session in a day. I think he's one of those uh, very well-liked players on the tour. Nobody ever has a problem with him. He's uh, very respectful, I mean, very nice guy overall. So, I mean, as far as hitting goes, you know, Yarko is one of the better players on the tour, so I was, I was lucky to have a good hit with him. First of all, my goal is to stay healthy and, uh, and then to get uh, back to the main draws to, to get my ranking uh, back where it was uh, before I got injured and hopefully I get, uh, get uh, back to as high as uh, I was as my best. 
try to work uh, for my game and I don't think about ranking that much. It's, if you play well, the ranking, uh, you get uh, points and uh, you improve your ranking as well. I, I will start keep working uh, with my game and uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, still improve a lot and, uh, like I say, to get uh, high in the rankings as well. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we report from Monte Carlo and the Rolex Masters, the first of three ATP World Tour Masters 1000 events on clay. And we catch up with the winner of the ATP's Newcomer of the Year Award 2009, Argentina's Horacio Zeballos. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.